Um, well, I, 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 I also, I also quite like this game. Uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, pretty tough to win a game uh, from black side, uh, but to win against a player like Yu Yangi is even uh, difficult. And uh, more importantly, I think it, uh, it was kind of equal uh, for most of, uh, most of the game. Um, although he had to solve uh, many issues at different phases of the game. Yeah. Uh, um, but uh, towards the end, it was uh, pretty, you know, complicated, I would say. I think uh, that end game will get into <laughs> the manuals. Uh, very interesting ideas, yeah. Yeah, hopefully not my mistakes because I also for uh, I also miss some uh, miss some chances, uh, pretty easy chances, which I okay. We, let's uh, have a look at it. Yeah. So we. I mean, for me, uh, the most interesting part of the game was uh, on move number seventeen when you played this move. Uh, rook d6 because I was looking at this game and I felt like white can play b5 and knight a5 queen b4 and e5 is hanging uh, yeah exactly c5 this is the trap you had placed how easy or difficult was it for you to find the entire c5 queen into a5 bishop b6 uh, idea uh, actually uh, this uh this trap was um, uh, i was even considering in uh, different uh, position with the pawns on d5 d3 i was even thinking this like uh, uh, instead of uh, bishop b2 uh, you can still play b5 uh, 15th move uh, 16th move yeah here also you can play b5 and i would do the same you would play knight so, a5 but now at least the e5 pawn is not uh, hanging so yeah, yeah, but the thing is, I saw this trap uh, here. I mean, I, I uh, uh, my e5 pawn is not hanging, but if I don't see c5, then I cannot play this. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I was analyzing uh, with Amruta and I told her after rook d6, what if b5? And somehow for like 5 to 7 minutes, I felt like, why didn't Yu Yangi play b5? And then Amruta found this knight a5 to c5 idea and i was very amazed uh, so basically I, I i had to see this uh, knight a5 c5 uh, not after uh, bishop b2 but uh, after h3 in fact uh, because uh, uh, white in, uh, can go b5 uh, after rook d8 itself and uh, the reason why uh, I, I i i didn't mind B5 uh, move 16 is knight a5 c5. Sure. And uh, actually, after uh, rook d8 b5, knight a5, queen b4 c5, queen a5, bishop b6, knight e5, uh, I wanted to play queen e8 or something. This was this, this I calculated when I played rook d8. Okay. And uh, after rook d6, okay, now it's a uh, much better version because I also d file is open and uh, knight, uh, I have c4 square, which uh, uh, after b5, if he doesn't go queen b4, I get uh, knight c4. So right, yeah. It's a much better version. So that's why I, uh, he didn't play b5. Uh, yes, uh, uh, he played uh, queen c2, queen e6, and then we had the rook exchange on the d file, and then after queen b1, we once again have, uh, you know, the typical Hare Krishna move uh, in this position with a5, which is like playing ambitiously in simple positions. I think a5 was a very nice move. Um, well, uh, thing is, uh, if uh, one side is, uh, uh, I mean, the queen side pawns are swapped, then uh, white just uh, draws pretty easily. And uh, the only way I can uh, keep uh, keep him like keep all the pawns is by playing a5 so that's uh, that's the main reason why i pushed a5 of course i i had to calculate some uh, variations after b5 and knight e5 and so on uh, but uh, the, i mean to uh, to uh, yeah, uh, if you see uh, a5 looks uh, really against the principles of chess like uh, you are putting your pawn on dark square when you have dark square bishop yeah 
but uh, in a dynamic way, it makes perfect sense because um, White would def- uh, find it hard to de- defend all his pawns like uh, a4, e4, b5, and so on. And uh, that's uh, that was the main reason. And also, I I wanted to get this c5 square for the queen at some point if uh, if he go- if White goes knight d2. Yes. And uh, and this you did get in the game. Uh, I think when he played knight h1. Uh, by that time, you would have already been quite uh, ambitious here in the position. Now, I saw this nice move, queen b6. Actually, this was uh, the whole point. I, I saw um, while playing a5, I saw that, okay, if he defends everything, what am I supposed to do? Uh, because if I don't get queen b6 and if he, uh, you know, if he develops normally, he uh, white is doing completely fine. Um, so king h2 after knight e6 and knight h1 was like really <laughs> too much. I, I I did see that move, but <laughs> um, I, I I didn't think that he would go for uh, this variation. So yeah. and it was a nice move to make for him, I guess. Uh, but he, uh, he he since he is defending everything. Yeah, but the knight is very passive, and I think you were completely better, uh, I guess, at some point and uh, after that his 36th move bishop g3 uh, did you think that you, okay material is equal but just with your active pieces that you are winning this position in the end game, end game? um well he was quite short on time this is uh, one thing uh, which uh, which i have to mention uh, because that is also quite important in uh, such end games although it's just four moves uh, in end games, uh, each move can uh, change the entire uh, dynamics of the position, which is uh, quite important. Mm. And uh, also, uh, now a4, b5 really looks uh, <laughs> quite weak uh, in a way. And um, yeah, I mean, I was happy to uh, improve my position uh, step by step, and uh, I felt I have a uh, good chance. But Okay, with correct play, I think it's uh, still a draw here. Yes, I think his main defense was on move 39 when he played king h1. He could have taken on uh, c5. Uh, yeah, I, I did see that actually. Uh, I thought uh, he should uh, defend with the bishop, but uh, then 39th move is a difficult move yes. always. <laughs> because <laughs> you, you are just two moves from the time control and you don't want to... Uh, uh, you don't want to decide the uh, like uh, to convert into some end game where you are not sure. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's so, the only reason I think he did not take. Otherwise, uh, I'm pretty sure he would go for that. Yeah, he played king h1, and I think uh, then many moves were played. The bishop and knight were exchanged, uh, and you won the b5 pawn. So you were a pawn up after 49th knight into b5 and here it should be winning for you yes uh, after black's uh, knight into b5 yes uh, for sure after king e3 king c4 king f4 i think uh, c5 is winning c5 yeah you played nd4 but instead of that c5 ah uh, no 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 uh, no no sorry king e3 c5 king e3 c5 uh, instead of king c4 you could have played c5 uh, yeah Actually, you know what I missed here? Uh, uh, I, I completely forgot that uh, when white goes king e4, king f5, uh, black can simply take on f3 with uh, pawn on g5, and uh, white can never break this. Ah. So if like uh, uh, it's something like uh, white takes the pawn on uh, h h uh, six. And uh, white has h3, g4, and uh, a bishop somewhere. And uh, black has uh, king on b3, knight on f3, pawn on g5, and pawn c5. And uh, this is just winning as uh, he cannot uh, attack the pawn and knight at the same time sure. with the king. Sure, yeah. this, is, this is exactly what I missed. Otherwise, I would just push c5, and uh, uh, white is completely lost here. Ah, okay. So you went uh, king c4 uh, and now actually uh, started something uh, very interesting. I was, um, this is one question I wanted to ask uh, after king f3, uh, 57th move, 
You played knight to f5. I mean, what exactly was going on here? Because he could have played gf, gf, bishop into f6, uh, but he didn't do it. Yeah, okay, it's a draw already. I, I, I mean, there is nothing in my mind. I was just hoping that he doesn't take it. But uh, uh, the, the, the thing is, okay, uh, anything else he would uh, draw pretty easily and only... With this knight f5, he could uh, have some pressure that, okay, after bishop f6, I go king d3, maybe something, but actually he just goes king g4 and, uh, yeah, we just shake hands and it's just a draw. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, like I said, there is nothing else I could do here after, uh, you know, I missed this win uh, on move uh, 50. And, uh, yeah, here I, oh, my only chance is that he gets some kind of uh, fear or kind of, no, something is going wrong. And luckily for me, he felt that uh, he needed to force or, you know, I think he didn't see this, uh, this whole sequence of moves, which we will see afterwards. Yeah, so, so when we come to this queen and pawn endgame, you made c1 queen. And he pushed his pawn to f7. Did you really? Uh, uh, before going there, uh, 62 king g7 is a draw. King g7, okay. Yes, I mean, uh, you can start with h4 too, it uh, doesn't matter. But king g7 is a draw. Uh, it's nicely draw because after king g7, king a2, h4. Um, I think, uh, knight. F4 maybe? Oh. Yes, yes. Knight F4 and King F6. King H6? King, King F6. Ah, you take uh, no. King F6. Okay. Yeah, I, I take the pawn. Uh, ah, you, you come after King into A1, King E5, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I just... Uh, let me see how it comes. So, King G7, King uh, A2, H4, Knight F4. Four. Uh, no, knight f4, I take it. So, king a1, h5, knight f4, h6, and knight e6, and king f6, and I, I just take, uh, well, actually, any anything is draw here. Yeah, sure. Knight f8, yeah. uh, king g7 also. So, the only thing is, after king g6, uh, king a2, h4, always ha I have knight f4 check. King A2, H, uh, here H4, then, ah, Knight F4 is a check, okay. Knight F4 is always a check, so that's lost. Yeah. Okay, he took on F6 uh, and then uh, he, he reached uh, King F6 and you pushed your pawn. It was C1 Queen on 67th move, yeah. he played F7. Here, uh, yeah. did, did you think that this is a draw or you felt that you were winning here? Uh, to be honest, I didn't uh, think anything. I just saw that, uh, like, uh, what he played in the game, but uh, then I uh, I saw that uh, it's, it wasn't <laughs> as simple as uh, I, saw. I thought so. Um, because um, uh, it was very, very uh, instructive when I, I, I didn't find, uh, to be honest, the computer was suggesting. I mean, it gives plus four and so on, but which is a kind of uh, a problematic because uh, with queen, uh, he should give uh, much more than that. If he's giving plus four, it's a draw. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I briefly checked uh, what, uh, what all I could do. But uh, yeah, there were some very fine points uh, why it is draw and uh, I... I learn uh, while making the moves of course uh, but uh, yeah queen h5 is a mistake which which looks so natural but uh, uh, unfortunately that, that's uh, and that's the only way to lose or like okay not the only way but uh, yeah so natural so move in this position 73rd move h5 is a mistake uh, as you said how do you yeah. uh, explain uh, this that this is a draw i mean what is the reason why because we have said that okay opponent has an f pawn uh, and an additional pawn then there are no stalemating tricks but here suddenly uh, it's it's a draw because the uh, well, it's uh, pretty uh, simple to explain uh, because uh, uh, since uh, 
time you start to study you uh, your brain is uh, you know uh, uh, like you you get information that uh, put the king on h8 when the pawn is on f7 and that's a draw yeah and i think uh, that's uh, that was the main reason why people don't consider any other options uh, to be honest i mean it's not the yu yangi but i think it can happen to anyone uh simply because you were told that this is the way to draw simply because uh, king goes to h8 and uh, black cannot take the pawn on f7 and it's a draw and the way to do it is to push h5 and that's why he played h5 and uh, i don't think he even consider any other move apart from h5 and uh, to be honest even i didn't consider anything hmm. okay yeah I, i asked a few top players as well and they all said h5 is so natural anyone can make yes. this mistake so uh h5 is an uh, really um, i i i not for a uh, single moment i thought it's a mistake but uh, i mean it's such a mistake that there is he missed a draw and uh, yeah after h5 i had to find uh, queen h7 but uh, i saw this queen h7 uh, much early like uh, before even queening um yeah i mean i saw this king d5 and uh, king e6 and uh, this is winning um but yeah h5 is really shocking uh, that it's uh, such a big mistake right so this ended in a in a very nice uh, end game victory uh, uh, yeah i wanted to show one thing uh, here after king e7 um king is after king e7 queen h7 Uh, just a uh, second. Uh, king. Yeah. Instead of h5, king e7. Yeah. Queen seven. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So king uh, f6. Yeah. Queen h6. And uh, king e7. And I think uh, the important point here uh, is to um, uh, after queen. G7 black can white can go king e8 because after king d5 you have uh, queen and uh, black has to move the queen right and uh, there was one moment uh, yeah so after queen h4 check yes so queen h4 check 75th move okay um white does not go king f8 but king e8 this is the only way to draw king e8 okay and this kind of things are little bit uh, you know not natural because uh, you think that king should go to h8 yeah and uh, the uh, reason why king uh, f8 loses is because i go same queen h7 king e8 and king d5 <laughs> yeah right like the game yes so king e8 and once again after queen h5 you again go queen king e7 Yes. Only after, uh, uh, after queen g7, a uh, king e8 is not losing. So until then, you just stay with king e7, king e8. So this is uh, something which is really strange. Yeah, you don't go for the corner. You have to stay in the center. You don't go for the corner, and uh, you just wait in uh, on e7 and e8. And only if the queen uh, comes to e6 check, and then you go to the corner. Okay. because then so, uh, that square is taken by the queen and you know your king exactly cannot king cannot come yeah that, that that that's what i wanted to tell because uh, of course it's uh, it's draw when i have engine but i was checking why this is a draw um so i was trying various checks here and there so then i figured that uh, the main defense is that white stays on uh, e7 and e8 right so very important point when the queen comes to e6 you go king f8 and then you can draw great yeah. uh, the important point is that always to <laughs> calculate uh, other possibilities uh, from what you have learned yes sure easy uh, yeah. easy to say uh, after the event or uh, while seeing at home but difficult to do during the game yeah yeah exactly i i of course i didn't see king e7 i, I think uh, it's maybe 10 in 100 would uh, see even may even maybe less
Hello everyone, this is Grandmaster Hare Krishna Pentala um, from India and uh, uh, today we are uh, going to look at uh, French uh, third move Knight C3 from Whiteside. Uh, French defense is a very special opening for me uh, because I have uh, uh, played it several times from uh, both sides and uh, I had uh, uh, more good uh, victories than uh, bitter losses so it's a special opening and uh, with the help of French defense from black side I uh, completed my international master title and uh, thereafter I played with uh, white side as well.